And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game called Growl. Not the most, um, I don't know, this doesn't seem like it's a very innovative name, but it's a new kind of werewolf game. Now this is for 4-10 to 10 players, it's a social deduction game, and it is... Well, obviously, you know, based on Werewolf. It says Werewolf, it talks about Werewolf. This was on Kickstarter, and I distinctly remember this coming out. Many people trumpeted this as a new kind of Werewolf, something different, something something cooler. Uh, one review called it the only social deduction game that you'll ever need. Well, that's said some pretty big words, but that's said about a lot of deduction games, so I tend to kind of blow that stuff off. You know, oh, okay, whatever, I'll get to it when I get to it. We'll see if it's different or not. So I gave this game a whirl. Let's see how it plays. Players are going to be playing with a deck that's made up of Bite, Charm, Wound, Gold, and Sav cards. At the beginning of the game, you're going to put together a certain number of Gold and Bite cards and shuffle them and give them out to players. If you get a Bite card, you are a Werewolf. Uh, then you're going to make a deck which has one Final Night card and two Night cards from piles of them shuffled into this deck. And then the deck's going to be face up. So these cards are one-third, two-thirds, and all the way down. On a player's turn, they're going to take the top card of the deck and they're going to give it to somebody. So I might be like, sorry, Sarah, you're getting a wound. And then John's like, sorry, Tom, you're getting a bite. And we give these cards out to different people. Now, what you're going to do is constantly reevaluating your hand. If you ever, if you get a bite at the beginning of the game, you're a werewolf. Other than that, though, if you ever get three bites in your hand, you become a werewolf. But each charm you have cancels out a werewolf. Just like three wounds will kill you, but each salve you have cancels out a wound. If you're ever killed, you tell people that you're dead by flipping your board over, but you don't reveal who you are until the end. Gold is just simply victory points at the end of the game. When you get to one of these night cards, you're going to do whatever it says. Name any card other than gold, target two living players, and they must truthfully state exactly how many copies of that card they have in their hand. Then discard this and night falls. During night, so those events are going to be different. During night, you're going to pick one card from your hand and give it to each of your neighbors. Secretly, everyone does it at the same time. The rules specifically say you can't randomize it, and someone might be a werewolf and or die at that point. And you'll keep going till you get to the final night card. Uh, on the kind of play, three all living players will point to their left or right. Players who have the closest living neighbors pointing in their direction, who have both pointing in their direction, are unwanted, and they die. If they're more than two unwanted, they alone participate in a second round until there are only one or two unwanted remaining, and they die. Then keep going, and then till final night falls. And final night, basically, the werewolves will reveal themselves if any villagers are alive. The villagers win. But if everyone turns into a werewolf, then the werewolves win. So there's a big box here. You can actually take coins because if you want to play more than one game of Growl, you might have been wondering what those coin cards do. You, you'll keep gold from round to round. If you're on a winning team, you get a gold. And if you have a gold card, you get a gold. There's also in here, you know, the Curses expansion where there are cursed things that you can have. They kind of change up the items. And then the Souls expansion, which adds special things in here. And so they all fit into this box. Apparently there's Undead and other stuff. I'm assuming they're not in this particular box. Box. The box here is a little big for what this game is. I mean, literally, it's just a deck of cards. You don't need much more than that. The card art works fine. I like the symbols. I the the printing has a good look to it, especially here on this charm. I don't know what it is. That charm really stands out. So I don't mind it. The card quality is fine. Um, it, it's nothing it doesn't really stand out though. It looks again like werewolf. Of werewolf and resistance and stuff, but there's definitely some problems with those games. There's in some of them, there's player elimination, uh, or the discussion phases can go on too long. You might not know what to do. You can sit quietly and watch everybody else argue, and so on and so forth. 
What Growl is trying to do is it's trying to be snappy and peppy. Draw a card, give to someone, keep going. Yes, you can discuss things and try to figure out who werewolves are. And okay, I have a wound card. Uh, as a human player, I want to try to kill off the werewolves as fast as I can. The werewolves are trying not to kill off anybody if possible. Um, so you're spreading out the wounds and things and trying to watch where the cards goes and who gives players what. And so it's supposed to be a snappier, dynamic, faster game. I say supposed to because for me, Growl fell flat. It's just boring to me because there's just not... The thing about Werewolf that's so interesting is the psychological nature behind it. You wake up the next day and Bob has been eliminated. Who would have done Bob? And I just saw Maggie stand up and go on and on and on and Jeremy argue with her. Uh, but maybe they were fake arguing. Here, you can do that same sort of thing, right? But it's not, first of all, you might just become a werewolf. The, the end conditions of this drive me batty. Where it's like, if, if there's humans alive, the humans win by themselves. If there's werewolves, then the werewolves win. Well, if the werewolves all win, who cares? Like, where, being a werewolf to me in this game feels like you're a loser, and you're just also trying to get everyone else to lose. That's not interesting. That whole idea where we all become bad. Well, if I lost, at least I'll try to make Sally lose too. But I don't find that to be fun or interesting. Also, there's just there's no differentials between this. Yes, the night cards and the final night cards are different, but you don't know what they're going to be. There's some random, ooh, if this happens, point this and ask these questions. But it's nothing you can plan for. You just do it when it happens. And yes, you can discuss it, but if I have to give someone a wound, it's not like, ooh, well, that was the only... That's what I have to give them. This feels like werewolf if it was dumbed down. That's how I feel about this. Like if someone says, I don't want to play werewolf, it's too complicated. I go, well, maybe you can try growl. Like a mass market style game that everyone can pick up and play. I guess I get that. I just don't, I can't for the life of me see why I would pick this over that. You might say, well, it's faster. Sure, but then I'll pay one night ultimate werewolf. Well, players are continually doing things and staying active the whole game. Yeah, but then I might play good cop, bad cop, or something like that. This doesn't really meet any criteria that makes me want to play this. And I especially don't like that the theme is exactly the same as Werewolf. It's the same theme. So it's going to be obviously compared to that. And I've been in epic games of Werewolf. I've yet to play an epic game of Growl. Or even a great game. Or even a good one. Yeah, this one just doesn't make it for me. I know a lot of people like it, and that's fine, and, and it, this, is, this is the Tom Vassell opinion hour. Um, but I just wasn't very impressed with this one and found it to be extremely forgettable to the point where I wonder in a year or two if I'll even remember it very much. And that's growl. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment? It's just not very interesting.